Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's January 17th, Thursday morning, and uh, we just got the USDA's weekly export sales numbers. Uh, corn uh, bigger than expected, 393.3 was the uh, total. Trade was expecting 150 to 250. Soybeans uh, came in at a whopping 1,788,000 tons, uh, 88,000 tons. The uh, 700 to 50 to 950 was the expected range, and wheat uh, within the range at 574.7. The uh, uh, takeaway from that report, I think, is that uh, trade was expecting, uh, and because of lack of sales in past weeks, expecting uh, extremely poor sales in corn, and uh, we got a little better than expected there. The soybean number, this has been talked about uh, this past week that we sold 30. Uh, the cargoes of soybeans to China, it looks like uh, we've got some confirmation that this uh, sale has been uh, made. You've got to remember that uh, China did cancel about 1.6 million uh, tons of uh, beans here earlier in the year. So uh, this is kind of replenishing their uh, their stocks uh, as they go into uh, January. So uh, overall, good numbers. Markets were higher than uh, uh, at after this uh, news came out. Uh, Asian markets, however, uh, for palm oil overnight were uh, lower. We've seen uh, uh, some selling pressure there. And in China, uh, grain, soybeans, and wheat were uh, uh, just marginally higher. uh, The move for the week of soybean prices in China were up about 20 cents. In the U.S., we've rallied uh, bean prices 63 cents. So uh, that may uh, stall some uh, further demand as we move forward here uh, into the next several weeks. However, product values in China were uh, higher and gained uh, more than uh, uh, than we did in the U.S., which might uh, give some reason for the strong uh, export uh, meal sales. Uh, they came out at 250,000 tons, and that was uh, about 100,000 tons higher than what the trade was expecting. The uh, news that we got yesterday in uh, corn uh, from the ethanol sector, not very exciting. Um, Ex, or, uh, corn usage for ethanol was down about 17% uh, from a year ago. The trade's expecting, uh, and, and USDA's projected, about a 10% average uh, decline. Uh, on average, thus far this year, we're running at about 11.5% below. So uh, we are uh, still running behind and, and not getting any uh, export uh, or usage help from that sector at this point. Uh, this wild card still is what is happening in the uh, feed section of the uh, the balance sheet and the residual. The uh, uh, demand for uh, corn not slowing down in the poultry industry. They're showing placements there, chick placements at uh, 102% of a year ago. So not uh, not seeing any decline at that uh, the juncture. The trade also is extremely jumpy about weather. Uh, we know how tight supplies are here in the U.S. and in the world. And uh, watching uh, South American weather uh, forecast uh, changes uh, on a day-to-day basis. And right now it looks uh, a bit drier for uh, Argentina. Basically the same forecast we had yesterday. But uh, uh, that's given some reason for underlying support because if there is any problems in production in South America, uh, we all know that that could uh, certainly be supportive for our uh, grain prices here in the U.S. We did have uh, South Korea pass on uh, purchase of feed wheat, 70,000 tons of wheat. They're saying that uh, wheat prices are too high, that they uh, they passed on that completely. Japan did buy 118,000 tons of, of uh, milling wheat. Uh, from the U.S. and Canada uh, last night. In the livestock trade, uh, cash cattle traded uh, yesterday in the Southern Plains at 124 to 125. That compares to a 125, 128 price last week. Uh, Cutout values are a little higher, 37 cents higher in choice, dollar 28 higher in the select. Uh, Pork values uh, up 49 cents. The uh, 
futures this morning, we see a little stronger uh, cash hog price, or, and we see futures uh, stronger in um, the February contract, the hogs as well. Cattle uh, futures are struggling with uh, the weakness in the cash and the uh, the weakness in the futures as we've taken out some key chart support, some technical support, and that's causing uh, further uh, selling pressure in the uh, in the cattle complex here today. So, uh, again, a lot of things going on, a lot of reasons to stay in touch with Allendale's research. Uh, you can reach us at 800-262-7538. Uh, also reminding everybody that uh, next week is the Allendale uh, 2013 Ag Leaders Conference uh, here in uh, Crystal Lake, Illinois. Uh, we still got room available for you. Please give us a call at 800 800- 262-7538 to get signed up for that. We wish everybody a very successful trading day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning.